What's up guys, this is Fadi again and in this tutorial I will show you how to visualize an elevation in Revit so without further additions let's dive into Revit and yes we are here in Revit as you see I have a small home or house or a small buildings here and I want to visualize uh, let's say this elevation which is the south elevation so let's go to the south elevation now and this is what we have and as you see now I have such uh, an elevation like that without any a representation or a graphics so this is not the perfect way to do that in Revit because we have materials and we can go to the visual style and go to the realistic or the shaded and make what we need but in this tutorial I will show you how to do that without any need for a, such a 2d graphical representation by any program such as Photoshop or any other program so how to do that is to together first of all i i would like to go to the visual style here and we have here a graphic display options or you can reach it from the properties menu here you can go to graphical display options and you will have this window when you have this, this window you can see that we have a model display we have shadow we have sketchy line we have many options so we will play with these options in order to visualize our our uh, uh, elevation so first of all uh, I want to go to shadows and apply a cast shadow here but as you see there is no shadows because I have to apply this maybe the shadow something dark or something like that so you can go to lighting and play with shadow here I like often to have 25 or 30 maybe this is good for us for now also for the shadows maybe you can go to sun settings and if you want to make it from the left you can choose left and make it something like that okay now I will return back to the graphical display and then go to the shadow you have also here an option as show ambient shadow if I click on it it will give another shadow which is related to the uh, sun ambient shadows but for now I will not click it okay maybe we can go also to the sketchy line if you want you can uh, <clears throat> enable this option and play with the jitter and the extensions and apply it it will return it to a sketchy lines but I don't want this for this tutorial okay maybe you can go to the depth curing and enable the depth and apply it but it is not working for this project because it is a small project maybe it won't work in a, a project with a big scale so I will not enable I will disable this and we have to go to lighting maybe we can also play with the Sun but because we are in hidden lines uh, it will not work as we uh, are in shaded or any other things okay maybe I can go here to uh, background apply a sky or a gradient if you want to apply a sky it will be like that you can change also to the gradient maybe you can change the color such as like this I really like this style maybe you can also change the horizon color and the ground color if you want to change for example to something like black you can see that the ground will be black Oh, okay maybe this is enough here I can go back here press ok and if I want to apply some colors or some hatches to the elements here I can I will choose now the 
maybe the glasses or the windows I will go to right click and overwrite the graphics in a view and we we are going to choose by element okay maybe I can give a color for these windows so I will go to foreground and choose solid fill maybe I can give some color blue color you can choose and give it a color for example like this or you can play around this to have your preferred color maybe I can also assign a transparency here because it is a glass maybe we can also increase this in transparency much more you can give a half tune also but that is good okay I think we have to change this color to something maybe like that okay apply it's increase the transparency I don't like this color also mm, let's choose something mm, a bit interesting here okay I think this is maybe good okay and once you apply this you also can play with the walls as well maybe you can choose this I want to choose the uh, inner side so I will go to tab this okay maybe this one also have the same and click tab okay maybe also this one and this one okay right click and overwrite overwrite graphic in a view by element maybe you can give them any color you want I will go with this and give some uh, half a tune for it okay as you see I have this nice color instead of the white color also for the railing the glass railing I can choose it and override and give it also maybe also something like gray okay I will increase the transparency a bit and give a half a tune here or I can cancel half a tune yes this here we go uh, maybe also we can give here another texture for example for this one let's choose override and go and give some textures here such as um, I like squares maybe insulation tribute let's give our squares let's check what we have okay maybe we can increase the scale from three dots here you can go to the uh, bend symbol here and increase that spacing between them maybe we can give five millimeter we can see now what we will have okay mm. it's not changed maybe right click in the foreground yes maybe we can give some five millimeter okay let's do that for the also the background and also this this one five millimeter okay okay yes it changed now as you see maybe we can give this one also the same and this one this one right click override in view we can give them the same one such as insulation rigid okay and for the background the same 
apply ok and yes once you are done with that you can apply this method to any component in the your 3d for example maybe this floor you can right click and overwrite let's give it some hatches in the cut such as uh, maybe diagonal up here and apply it to the uh, floor okay maybe you can also have some uh, plants or uh, planting or uh, some components in the elevation so you can add anything i am going here maybe to go to the 3d view maybe we can add some planting here in this planting freezer here and maybe also we have here something that we want to uh, make it appear in the elevation such as a decoration in the landscape so maybe we can go now to the let's say ground floor and see why this does not because the elevation is from this limit so i can increase this limit here you can also uh, touch this point and go to any point you want let's go back to the south elevation and see what we got yes we have now here some things that appear new maybe also you, we can uh, assign to here some hatches to this wall uh, for the foreground surface pattern maybe I can give it also the same or or let's keep uh, yes the same maybe the, the same material and once I hit ok it will give the same material of these uh, walls or components maybe here I have some uh, wood cladding to this part so I want to show that and represent that so you can go here to the foreground maybe we can give it a spacing with horizontal spacing for example let's check what we will have yes it's good maybe you can change the color for the wood color for example brown and play with it to have the same representation okay okay maybe we can also add some components such as a planting so let's go to maybe the ground floor or the basement because this is the basement and this is the ground as you see in the 3d we have here an entrance so this is called basement maybe so let's go to the basement and let's go to components maybe we can have some trees here let's say we have some trees in the massing and side components maybe this is big enough so we can search around for a suitable one you can download these families from the internet sources such as Revit City or any other sources so I am going to choose uh, maybe I have a 3D plant here, I can choose it, maybe what it here, I have this one, this message, but not this tab of that, so I have now here some components, 3D components, which is a tree or a plant or a brush, going back to basement, maybe you can assign that also to this one to appear in the south elevation, so by going to component, I can maybe put one here and one here. This is not a bit because of some properties here in the component, but there is no problem. They will appear in the elevation such as like that. So now we have a nice representation of this elevation. You can also maybe give some detailed items here from an annotate. We have components here. I have made some detailed diamond which are 2D. Maybe some person here you can put it. Yes. And we are done now.
you can also play around with this which is the override graphics give half to anything you want and yes this is done now for the representation of the elevation in rivet without need to go to photoshop or any other representation graphical representation to the programs this is enough for this tutorial guys i wish that you are interested in this kind of uh, videos and tutorials and for helping me please like and share this video for more daily tutorials goodbye